Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the ray gun on your first try in Black Ops 2 Zombies Call of Duty. Now, your first step is make sure you have the game installed. If you can't, then you can't get the ray gun. Now, next you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this green square that says play. You're gonna click it right there. It's gonna say preparing to launch. Then it'll say cancel, then stop, and then the game will launch up. Alright, when you see the menu screen, make sure to go into Options, alright, and go into Controls, and go into Gamepad, and then you're just going to have your arrow on each one of these for about 5 seconds, here we'll count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, alright, the next one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, the next one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Okay, next one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next one. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna click escape, but do not click actual escape. Click it with your mouse. All right, you're gonna do it again, and you're gonna go into online. Okay, next you're gonna go into solo play. Make sure your rank is the two bones. All right, you're gonna click here and click on this map, also known as Town, and on Survival. Alright, now you're ready to play the game. You click Start Match, it says your match is about to begin. Make sure it says that. Alright. Game starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, you're gonna hit a loading screen, but don't worry, your game will start soon. It'll say Waiting Challenge 3. Make sure it says that or else you will not get the ray gun. Alright, let's... oh! Okay, the game has started. It'll, it'll say your name connected in the left of the screen. Alright, first what you're going to do is turn around, do a 180, and go this way. Run through the fire twice, then go up these stairs. Then you're going to look down the stairs for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're going to go down the stairs. Then you're just going to play the game normally. You're going to kill all the zombies until you have one zombie left. How can you tell if you have one zombie left? Well, there will be one zombie left. Alright. Make sure to watch your back. You never know when a zombie could be behind you. Alright. Let's kill the rest of these zombies. Except for the last one. Make sure not to kill the last one. Alright. You play the game normally, just how it's always been meant to play. Oh crap, I killed the last one. Alright, don't worry. There's a there's a little uh, second chance I get here. You go to round two, make sure the two is at the bottom left of your screen. And you're going to kill all the zombies except for the last one. Alright. Uh, what a zombie is that? Okay, you're going to look around for the zombies. Make sure you find the zombies and you can't kill the zombies. Okay, now here's a zombie. What you gotta do is kill it, like this. It takes a couple shots, but don't worry, you'll kill it. Okay. And you kill another zombie like this. And then you run out of ammo. So next you go over here, and this is the first time you'll be opening up out of the box. Make sure to kill a zombie until you run out of ammo. Alright. Uh, if the box is not here, then you have to quit the game. You have to leave the game. It says quick game, you'll say yes. And you quit the game, it says you have survived two rounds. But don't worry, you'll get the ray gun soon. You, your kills should be exactly 8, your score should be exactly 1430, and you should have exactly 38 ping, and then 36, and then 38 again, and then 32, and then 34, and then 32, and then 36. Alright. And you leave, you leave the lobby, escape. And then you quit the game. Alright. Yes, I am sure I want to quit. And then you go into here. Make sure your game stops. And you go into Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Wait for the Fall Guys to load. Alright. Any minute now.
Any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. All right. All right. Then you want to you see the fall guys loading screen. All right, and then click start. And then make sure when you load in the Fall Guys that, hold on, we're still loading in the Fall Guys. Uh, make sure you have a certain skin equipped. Make sure you have this skin equipped with the Among Us. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and look at the shop. And then you're going to instantly quit the game by going to settings and then exit game. Then you're going to go on to the F Movies site and you're going to type DOS Boot. Uh, I don't know what happened. And then make sure this all pops up and not the actual movie. Okay, next you're going to go up here and type DOS Boot. Then you're going to click on the movie. Okay, never mind. And then you're going to go to server 2, and it should say, oops, video unavailable. That's when you go down and you click on Puss in, Puss in Boots. And then before watching Puss in Boots, before it loads, you go back. You click on Bruno and Boots, the Wizard, the wizard War. And, you, and, then, and then you go back. And then repeat this process again, but this time go to server 2. And then go back, and it'll be on server one, and then you go back again. And then you go back in the Discord, and you go into the Boog GIF warehouse. You scroll up all the way until you reach the top. This will take a little bit. All right, we've reached the top. You know you reach the top when you see Linus Tech Tips. Alright, now you go back into Black Ops 2 Zombies. And you should see a loading screen, and then you'll be in the game. You go to online, just like we did last time. And then, you should connect to the online service. And you click solo play, just like last time, repeat all the same steps, and go to town on survival. Make sure you still have the two bones, and click start match. And your match will begin in 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then 0, and then it begins. And it'll say awaiting challenge three, just like last time. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. It'll say your name connected, and it'll spawn you in. You should spawn right here. If you don't spawn right here, it means you didn't. You messed something up before. All right now, we're gonna do round one until we get to the last zombie, and make sure you don't screw it up this time, because you don't get a second chance this time. All right. Play the game normally. I promise you guys it's a long process, but you'll end up with the ray gun, I promise you. Okay, you can kill the zombie. Okay. Zombie should drop you right there. You're gonna kill it. 
you're going to get hit by it once, and you're going to kill it. Okay. Okay. It should have been the last zombie, I think. Alright, now you're going to go over here to the box. The box is going to be over here, unlike the last time. And you're going to spin around three times. Walk all the way back here. Shoot at the light post. You're going to walk over here. Oh, there were two zombies left. I knew that was about to happen. Alright, so you're going to kill the one zombie. And you're going to go over here. And you should see the box. You're going to spin around three times, just like last time. You're going to run over here, and you're going to shoot this light post. And then you're going to go over here, and you're going to kill the last zombie. And you know you killed the last zombie when the one at the bottom starts blinking white. Then you're going to spin around three times once again. Go back, but backwards this time. You should still be on fire. Shoot at the light post the rest of your clips. And you should be like, wait, how am I supposed to kill the zombie? I don't have any clips. Well, watch this. You're going to pull out a ray gun. Make sure to back up from the box and... Hey guys, this is Boog, and today I will show you how to get the ray gun every time in Black Ops 1 Zombies on Kino Dirtoten. Step 1 is to be on round 1. Once you are on round 1, proceed to shoot every zombie and do not knife any of them. If you knife one zombie, your game will crash. If I run out of ammo completely. Once you run out of ammo with your 1911, you want to purchase the M14 yeah, as it is the superior mine. starter weapon. But none for you, Make your way to Crook Revive and zoom in on the Q on the machine. Hold it. Hold it. And then buy a quick arrive and run. Run. Run from the machine or it'll walk For towards you and eat you. Once you feel that you are safe from the machine, leave the corner and kill every zombie in round two. Once you are on round 3, you should have enough points to purchase this door. If the box is not here, then tough luck. What you need to do if the box is not here, is shoot the teddy bear in the eye with your entire magazine. Once you have made the teddy bear mad, the next thing you want to do is worship the PM63 on the wall. This gun is vital to the glitch as it will carry you to the ray gun. Once you have enough points to purchase the PM63, purchase it, and then empty the entire mag. If you do not, it will explode in your hands and you will die in real life. Without bullets, I'll have to resort to stabbing! If you are to run out of ammo with your PM63, buy more, as this will give you more ammo to shoot zombies with with the PM63. Once you have made your way to the speed caller room, you need to dolphin dive. 
onto the speed cola machine. After you have dolphin dive into the speed cola machine, you're going to want to save up points and replace your M14 with the MP40. What could be better than the MP40? Now that you have channeled your inner Nazi, you're going to want to save up points to open the backstage room. Ammo to the max, yeah? Once you have made it to the backstage room, you're going to want to headshot every mannequin in the room with your MP40. Do not be afraid to kill any zombies, as this will not reset your progress. Do not forget this one on the floor. After headshotting every mannequin, make your way to the stage. If you have done this glitch right, the box will be on the stage waiting for you. Turn on the power. Once power is on, you're going to want to initiate the link of the teleporter, but do not finish the link or the glitch will not work. next step of the glitch is to kill zombies with your mp40 until round 7 at least before you open the box. Once you have made it to round 7, if the glitch has worked, you will be on a dog round. You do not want to kill any dogs yet before you open the box. You run your way to the box and open it without killing any dogs. You should get the dragon off. Use the dragon off to kill all the dogs in the round. If you go down, do not worry. Thanks to the quick revive we bought earlier, we get a second chance to kill all of the dogs with the dragon. Sick no scope, brother. Sick no scope. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! No scope, no scope, no scope, no scope. Once you have successfully cleared the dog round with the dragon off, go prone and slowly crawl into the max ammo. This will confuse the game onto what the heck is going on, and the glitch will continue. But why? Once the numbers turn white, immediately throw all of your grenades into this corner. Crouch in front of the box, turn around, and open the box a second time. Grab it without looking, and if this works, you'll have two Russian guns, a Dragonov and the RPK. That is how you know this is working. The next step is to clear the round using the RPK. The flames of the damned. Once you are on round nine, you can now link the teleporter. Make your way to the teleporter and use it. Pack a bunch, the RPK, and then crouch repeatedly in front of the grenades. Pick up the RPK and it is now the R115 Resonator.
once you are in this room quickly press F on both teddy bears if you don't you will get cardiac arrest and die if the glitch has worked correctly you will die on round 9 But this is as expected. You want to restart the level. After you have restarted your game, you will notice that you have suddenly been thrust into Payday 2. This is as expected, and it is a sign the glitch is working so far. Now you're going to need to follow these instructions very carefully, as it is a very specific requirement, and it is easy to mess this up. Go into your inventory and equip the Houston character. Go into the masks. Go to page 10. If you do not have it yet, buy the slot, the first slot. Go to collaboration and buy the robot. Equip the mask. For your primary, you need the Akimbo MP40. This references back earlier to when you bought the MP40. Equip the tank compensator, a team boost, auto fire, and a military laser module. You'll need this laser to be at maximum value for this glitch to work. For your secondary, you need to equip the Claire, yes, the Claire 12G shotgun. You want this to be modified to be as short and sought off as possible. Equip triple up buckshot the sawed off barrel an accuracy debuff and the dead man stock now that you have a comically small shotgun you want to equip the comically large spoon for your grenade you need dynamite If you do not already, make sure you have the Anarchist perk deck equipped. For your equipment, you need Sentry Gun. And that is it for the setup. Next step is to join any heist and crime.net but it must be a public lobby. Once you have made it into the lobby and have loaded, you're going to want to get kicked from the lobby. The easiest way to do this is to say obscenities into the chat. Once you have been kicked from the lobby, I don't know what happened. I must have missed something. you want to immediately quit here. to the main menu. Flip your character backwards so you can see they're behind. Give your characters back a good massaging with your cursor. After they have been thoroughly massaged, you are done with this step. Once you have loaded back into Black Ops 1 Zombies, you know you have done the glitch right when you have no ammo and your pistol despite not shooting anything. You want to buy Quick Revive and then twerk on the Quick Revive machine to assert your dominance without dying. You're going to want to knife every zombie 
in round one. Strike was weak. You kill me? No, I kill you. Once you're on round two, you're going to want to make a sacrifice to the Reagan gods I have and throw no yourself ammo. off of the staircase to kill no yourself. Honor. Once you have died, do not fire the Mustang and Sally or the glitch will not work. Meditation time over! True warrior. Once you're revived, no do not stand up. Allow the zombies to kill you. And then restart the level once more. If you have done all of the steps leading up to now correctly, you will find yourself in GM Construct. The first thing you want to do is make your way to the secret room under the ramp. Once you have made it to the secret room, you'll see Dr. Kleiner getting sloppy toppy from Alex Vance. You're going to want to grab the Alex doll and break the table. You may also notice a gun on the floor. Pick up this gun. It will be the MP40 from earlier that you purchased. You're going to want to assassinate Dr. Kleiner and also assassinate Alex. Make your way out of the secret room. Run up this hill and in this very corner you will find another weapon. A grappling hook gun. You're going to want to use a grappling hook to scale this building. On top of this building, you will find Breen. You're going to want to equip the MP40 and assassinate Dr. Breen. After he is dead, use the fizz gun to throw him off of the building and then jump down after him. Ow! You're gonna wanna get the crowbar and hit each of his limbs once. Once you have given Breen a thorough beating, you're going to wanna equip your MP40 and make your way to the mirror room. On your way to the mirror room, there will be an army of Metro Police. You're going to need to defeat them using your MP40. If you lose, you will have to start this glitch from the beginning. Continue towards the mirror room. And clear out any remaining civil protection in the room. Stand behind the sledge, equip the crowbar, and hit right at the scene 300 times. After you've hit it 300 times, equip your MP40 once more and make a smiley face on the wall. Equip the RPG and shoot the smiley face. The next step is to stand in front of the mirror in the mirror room. Hit the mirror 
eight times with a crowbar. Once you have hit the mirror eight times, say into the mirror, I am ugly and I am proud. After you have done this step, turn around and you'll notice something on the floor. And it will be the ray gun every time. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Like and subscribe. Alright guys, this is the third method that we're going to try to use to uh, get the ray gun first try. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to get on Nocturne and Tote and then you're going to buy the Car 98. The Car 98. Do not buy any other gun until we get there. But you're going to not buy the M1 car mine. This will not work. So notice I have 300. So we're waiting for those zombies to come up. Got to get those headshots, get those headshots. You're going to need three headshots at least. Uh, the more the merrier, the more likely this is to work. You know, get those headshots at any cost. So I got my first headshot over there. You notice I missed that headshot. Don't worry about that. This game has some serious lag to it. So there's my, my second headshot right there. That's not even the bare minimum. You're going to need at least another headshot. Boom, a headshot right there. Easy stuff, people. Easy stuff. So while you're waiting for these zombies, again, get those headshots. Any headshots as possible. This will increase your likelihood dramatically of getting it. Alright, so what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to hop into wild animal racing. You need it to be in the Polish language for this to work. You're going to hop into single player and you're going to want to play as a zebra. You have to go from the left, by the way. Do not go from the right or this will not work. So you're going to want to hop into there and you're going to want to go to Trogi. And you're going to want to win a race. I'm going to cut to that. Okay guys, so you're going to win the race. Uh, I won the race. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is... So you're going to want to run around this pillar three times. One, two, and three. Three times only. If you even go near that pillar again, the game's going to crash. Do not do that. I see this lantern right here. Shoot that four times. Four, four, four times right now. Four times is very important. It represents the four deadly sins that aren't lust, greed, or gluttony. Uh, the other four, of course. So you're going to shoot that zombie in the head. He's dead. That zombie that spawns, he always spawns right there. There's always a spawn right there. Get him in the head. Again, more headshots, the merrier people. So you notice, take that guy in the head. He's dead. Get him out of here. You're going to have to rebuild all of these barriers before this can work. Don't, know, don't worry about that. Reload your gun. Always reload your gun before it's empty. If you if it gets empty, if it fires that last bullet, this glitch is going to break and it's not going to work. So as soon as possible, you're going to want to open this door. And it, right here, the door, here's the uh, mystery box that we're going to be using. So this chair right here, this is the chair that Hitler sat in just before he killed himself. One, two, three times. That's how many times he shot himself before he actually died. Very important that you shoot that chair three times. Notice the zombies are quite slow. Get them in the head. Always in the head, no matter what. Now, these zombies are going to come over here. Do not shoot them. From those windows, they cannot be shot. You have to throw grenades. Always throw grenades at them. Get them out. Always use grenades on these zombies. This one came from the other window, so you can safely shoot him. Oops. Oh. Alright, so now for the for this next step, we're going to have to fry an egg. Now, as you can see here, the uh, pan needs to be heated to medium heat. Medium heat, where it's just not going to work. And you're going to have to restart. Now, you put a dollop of salted butter. Salted. Uh, I, I wasn't... So you have to put salted butter in it. Uh, so unsalted is just not going to work. Uh, so you're just going to put it around in there and make sure the pan's covered. For the egg, of course, that we're going to put... Of course, um, very important, very important. Has to be in a shot glass, no matter what. If it's not in a shot glass and you crack it from the egg or into a ramekin, again, you're just going to have to restart. And I'm sorry, that's just how it is. 
it's very important that you do this to get the ray gun. Thank you very much. Now that, now that now the uh, butter has uh, been melted, put the uh, egg in there. Eggs in there, as you can see, starting to widen up already. Okay, as you can see, the, the egg's almost done. Very important part right here. So you have to take it off the stove, take, it, take it, the pan off the stove. Get to your front door, only your front door. It's not going to work otherwise. You're gonna to want to go outside. Right, let me turn. And you're gonna to want to go outside. Go to your grass. Go to the sidewalk. If you don't have a sidewalk in front of your house, this isn't going to work. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't. You're gonna to have to move to a house with a sidewalk, and you're gonna to want to throw it on the sidewalk. Okay. Now, when that's done, this piece of rebar on this wall here. One shot. Two shot three shot for all three bars represented very useful so what we're gonna do is you're gonna have to crouch next to this uh, this shelf here and you're gonna you have to shoot this bucket you have to shoot that bucket always shoot that bucket if you do not shoot that bucket the glitch is not going to work now you'll also notice there's a, tin, a tin can here this tin can right here very extremely vital to the glitch do not fire at it with your car 98k it will not work you're gonna have to use the cult fire at it until it goes down it usually only takes one shot now you'll notice there's another zombie out here. You notice that your headshots will not be doing as much damage. That's good because you're going to be able to get more headshots per zombie uh, in order to uh, increase your chances of getting this glitch. And you see, I'm almost there. I'm almost ready to get it. Now, this is Hitler's filing cabinet. Uh, in the third one, this is where all the Jews are stored. All of them. Every single one. Shoot it one time. Reload your gun. Two, three, four, five, six times. Five more times until you get to six to represent the six million Jews that died there in the Holocaust. Not good. You notice the zombies are getting rather rowdy. You're going to want to shoot them. Just shoot them. Do not shoot these ones. I told. <laughs> it's okay. Hitler blessed us. We can go around that pillar again. Now you're going to. Do not get that max ammo. That max ammo will break the glitch and this will not work. So you're going to want to start getting these headshots. Now. If you open the box before all the zombies are dead, this will not work. Do not get that max ammo. Do not, not kill the zombies. Always kill the zombies before you start. See, I almost went below my one bullet. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. Reload your gun again. It's okay. Okay, now while that's still white, hit the box now. Now we should get the ray gun immediately. Fuck! Shit! God fucking damn it! <laughs> it, was, it was supposed to work. It was supposed to work. It didn't work. It didn't fucking work!